Have you ever wondered who was the first king to unite ancient Egypt? Many a time, time, the question arises, beckoning us back to the pages of history to unravel the mysteries shrouding the ancient civilization, the mysteries shrouding the land that carries the potent scent of history in its every nook and cranny. It was a period that saw the birth birth of legends, the rise of empires, and the laying down of the cornerstones of civilization as we know it. Amidst the, amidst the grandeur of this period emerged a figure, a man of vision, a man of power, and a man of passion. His name was King Nama. Unlike Nama didn't just stop at ruling, he bigger, he dreamt of unity, of bringing together a nation divided. King Nama, a visionary, achieved this unimaginable feat. His reign marked the dawn of a new era, the beginning of a than a king. He was a beacon of hope, a symbol of unity, and a harbinger of a prosperous future. His rule was characterized by strategic alliances, diplomatic relations, and military campaigns, all aimed at merging the different territories, different territories of Egypt into one powerful nation. His efforts were not in vain. He was successful in uniting the upper and lower regions of Egypt. Making him the first pharaoh to accomplishment didn't only change the face of Egypt, it changed the course of history. It set the stage for it, set the stage for the rise of one of the most powerful empires the world has ever known. The era of King Nama was not just, it was an era of cultural amalgamation, of shared beliefs and customs, of communal harmony and social time that bore witness to the fusion of diverse practices and traditions, blending them into a unique, was distinctly Egyptian. And so the legacy of King Nama lives on, his tale echoing through the annals of history and, and reaching us in the present, a testament to the timeless allure of ancient Egypt. So join us, join us as we journey back in time to the era of King Nama. Born into the royal lineage of Upper Egypt, Nama was no ordinary prince. From his earliest days, he was exposed to the rich cultural heritage and prosperous traditions of the ancient world. His young mind absorbed invaluable lessons from the stalwart figures who graced the royal court. His days were filled with lessons from the finest, filled with lessons from the finest tutors in the kingdom, each one imparting unique wisdom and insights that were to shape his future reign. The palace grounds where he lived were adorned with magnificent architecture and art, a testament to the kingdom's grandeur. These majestic surroundings nurtured in him an appreciation for beauty and her education was not confined to the palace walls. He was frequently taken on journeys across the kingdom, experiences that exposed him to the lives of his future subjects. His training involved rigorous physical activities to prepare him for the challenges of leadership. His mentors, the best strategists of the time, developed his strategic learning. He enjoyed games of Senate and ancient games of Senate an ancient Egyptian board game which honed his problem-solving skills. He learned to read and write hieroglyphics, the sacred writing system of ancient Egypt. These skills helped him understand diplomatic treaties and administrative documents, enhancing his diplomatic abilities. His education also encompassed the spiritual ancient practices of worship and rituals, connecting him with the gods and the spiritual forces that his ancestors believed guided their lives this holistic education made him not only a prince, but a visionary leader, well equipped for the challenges that lay ahead. His upbringing was not only rigorous, but also filled and loved from his family, the royal court and the people of Upper Egypt. They all recognized his potential and were keen to see him inherit the throne. Destiny had chosen Nama for a task that would, as Nama came of age, a vision took root in his mind, a vision so powerful that it would redefine his life's journey and the destiny of an entire nation. This vision was not an illusion, not a fleeting thought, but a vivid and concrete representation of a future that he was determined to create. His goal was to unify Egypt, a land that had been divided and in turmoil for centuries. He yearned to unite the diverse cultures, the disparate kingdoms, the scattered tribes under a single banner. He dreamed of under a single banner. He dreamed of a nation where there would be no divisions, no conflicts, just peace and unity. His ambition was as grand as the scope of this dream, as vast as the Nile, the lifeline of Egypt, which flowed through its heart, nourishing its people. This river in his mind was a symbol of the unity he aspired to bring. He was not naive. He knew the path would be strewn with obstacles. There would be resistance from those who thrived on division and chaos, those who feared change, 
those who were too entrenched in the old ways. But he was prepared to face them all. His determination was unyielding, as immovable as the Great Pyramid itself. Was steeled by his vision, fueled by his desire for change, and supported by an unwavering belief in his destiny. Every step that he took, every decision that he made, was driven by this vision. Nama was determined to bring about change, and nothing could deter him from this path. The challenges were many, the tasks monumental, but his spirit was indomitable. His vision was his guide, his ambition his fuel, and his determination his armor. Nama was determined to bring. The task was Herculean, but Nama was undeterred. Nama, an ambitious and dedicated leader, held the reins of Egypt with a profound sense of purpose and profound sense of purpose and commitment. His determination to unite a strategic choice made after careful consideration of the country's deep divisions. Before his ascension, his ascension to power, Egypt was a land divided, a fractured nation unable to progress due to its internal strife. Yet a leader of extraordinary metal saw the potential that lay beneath the surface of this surface of this divided land. He recognized that unity was the key to unlocking Egypt's strength and potential. It was his unwavering determination army and embark on strategic military campaigns. His military victories were not achieved through brute force alone. He employed strategy and tactics, using his keen understanding of the geopolitical landscape to triumph over his enemies. Each victory brought him enemies. Each victory brought him a step closer to his ultimate goal a united Egypt, Nama's more than just power. They were the embodiment of his vision to his leadership and a beacon of hope for a nation that had been long divided. They embodied the spirit of unity, cohesiveness, and, and the strength that comes from standing together as one. Nama's victories were not just about power, they were about unity. His leadership and commitment to unifying his country were the driving forces behind his successful that unity is indeed not only his military prowess, but also the power of his vision for a united. With the double crown on his head, Nama began his reign over a united Egypt. This was a time when Egypt was divided, when the sands of time were scattered and the land waited with bated breath for a leader, a savior who would rise above the rest. From the depths of this chaos emerged Nama, a man of valor, wisdom, and extraordinary leadership skills. He was a beacon of hope in a world that was in dire need of unity and stability. From the moment he adorned the double crown, he brought about changes that were significant and far-reaching. He was not just a ruler, but a visionary, a visionary, a pioneer who dared to dream of a united Egypt, a land where peace prevailed and prosperity flourished. He was a torchbearer of change, a driver of cultural transformation that was not about imposing his will, but about inspiring a new way of thinking, a new way of living. He embodied power, not in a tyrannical or oppressive way, or oppressive way, but in a manner that motivated his people to strive for greatness. His power was not derived from his title, but from his actions, his decisions that were... He was the embodiment of a leader who led by example, a leader who carried his people along in his journey towards progress. His reign marked an era of sustained growth and development. It was the dawn of a golden age where arts and sciences flourished, where creativity and innovation became the cornerstone of a society that was cornerstone of a society that was rich in culture and heritage. This period of prosperity still holds a significant place in the annals of history and continues to be a source of fascination for historians and archaeologists alike. His reign marked the dawn of a golden age, a period Nama was not just a warrior, he was a visionary. This ancient figure was unlike any other of his era. He was a man who saw beyond the present, beyond the immediate gratification of conquest. He envisioned a society that, that was far more complex and advanced than what existed during his reign. Born into a world of constant conflict and power struggles, Nama faced numerous challenges as a leader. However, he was not merely a king who ruled by force. Instead, he instituted a variety of cultural, religious, and administrative reforms that would leave a lasting impact on the Egyptian civilization. His reign was characterized by the fostering and flourishing of arts. He encouraged the development of writing and literature. In fact, it was under his reign that hieroglyphics, one of the earliest forms of writing, saw significant advancements. 
He patronized the construction of grand architecture and monuments that still stand today, testifying his visionary leadership. Moreover, Nama was a deeply religious ruler. He played a pivotal role in the development of ancient Egyptian mythology and spiritual practices. The gods and rituals that he promoted became an integral part of the Egyptian identity. In terms of administration, he a centralized system of governance, thereby reducing chaos and promoting order. He established laws and regulations, created a tax system that supported the burgeoning economy, and developed a strong military that served as the backbone of the Egyptian empire. His rule indeed was not restricted to his lifetime. It created a ripple effect that shaped the of the Egyptian civilization for centuries to come. His influence was not confined to the battlefield or the palace. It extended to every aspect of life, shaping the very fabric of Egyptian society. Nama's influence extended beyond the battlefield and the palace. It shaped the very fabric of every reign comes to an end and so did Nama's. Just as the sun sets on the horizon to bring an end to the day, so too did the reign of the visionary King Nama draw to a close. Egypt, this magnificent land of mystery and enchantment, stood still, completely shrouded in an overwhelming blanket of sorrow. Nama was not just a king, he was a dreamer, a unifier who had taken Egypt from disparate tribes to a unified kingdom. His rule was a beacon of wisdom, a beacon brightly illuminating the path towards harmony, prosperity, his reign, Egypt had prospered, it had thrived and it had grown stronger. There was a profound sense of loss felt by everyone. From the sense of loss felt by found peace and stability under his rule to the nobles who had admired his wisdom and justness, everyone was affected by his passing. His rule was marked by numerous changes. He was indeed a trailblazer. He brought laws were far ahead of his time. His governance was marked by justice, empathy and foresight. Every and foresight, every decision he took, every law he passed has been etched into the annals of Egyptian history. He was a pioneer, a trendsetter, a leader who's influenced than just a period of time, it was a golden era of unity and growth. His death was not just the end of an era, but it was also a harsh reminder of the transient nature of life. Even the greatest of kings, the most visionary of leaders, are not immortal. As Egypt mourned, Egypt mourned, the skies wept, the loss of its beloved king. It was a moment of stood still, a moment that would forever be etched in its memory. Though Nama was gone, his legacy was, was gone. His legacy was far from on. His principles were ingrained in the very fabric of the Egyptian society, and his memory was immortalized in the heart of his people. His reign might have ended, but his influence, his essence, will forever remain. Thousands of years later, we still remember King Nama. This man, whose name has echoed through the corridors of history, is more than just a forgotten figure of the past. He lived in a time where civilization was still young, where the world was still an uncharted territory waiting to be explored and conquered. His reign marked the dawn of the first dynasty, the beginning of an era that would forever change the course of humanity. King Nama was not merely a ruler sitting on a throne commanding his subjects. He was a visionary, a dreamer, whose ambitions were not confined to just ruling over a kingdom. His vision far exceeded the boundaries of his, the boundaries of his empire, he saw a world where his people lived in harmony, where they thrived in the arts, sciences and culture. He was not only a political leader, but also a religious figure, guiding his people and monuments, not only to display his power and wealth, but also to inspire his people to reach greater heights of civilization. King Nama was a man of many hats. He was a king, a leader, a priest, a builder, a strategist, a visionary, and above all, a dreamer. His life and reign were not a mere passage of time, they were a series of events. They were a series of events, decisions and actions that shaped a civilization, laying the foundation of what we know today as ancient Egypt. He imbued his people with the spirit of exploration and curiosity, fostering a culture of learning and growth that has lasted till today. His story is a testament, a testament to our ability to dream and create, to build and nurture, his reign was not just a period in history, it was a movement, a revolution that transformed a dream into a splendid reality. It is for these reasons and many more that thousands of years later we still remember, remember King Nama, the visionary who turned a dream. Through the sands of time, the tale of King Nama stands tall. This is a story that transcends ages, a narrative woven into the fabric of time itself. A man of such great magnitude, his legacy has withstood the onslaught of time and the dilution of memory. 
His name, King Namaris, is one that is spoken with reverence, echoing the power and majesty that he once commanded. He wasn't just any king, but the sovereign ruler of a realm that would go on to shape the world as we know it. His reign was one that brought unity to a land divided, a land fraught with turmoil, and his actions were those that set the course for a new era, an era of unity, progress, and monumental breakthroughs in civilization. His rule marked the dawning of the first dynastic period of Egypt, a time when the fragmented regions of Upper and Lower Egypt were consolidated under one royal banner. This unification didn't just represent a mirror of territory, but a fusion of cultures, traditions and ideologies. It was the birth of a new epoch, an era characterized by the unification of a diverse society. His actions were influential in the reshaping of civilization and his decisions as a ruler changed the destiny of an entire nation. His reign was marked by profound wisdom, strategic acumen, and an unyielding determination to achieve harmony within his dominions. King Nama, the first pharaoh of a united Egypt, a titan among men, he was the embodiment of power personified. He ruled with, he ruled with an iron hand, yet his heart was filled with a vision for his people, a vision of unity, prosperity, and growth. His dream of a unified Egypt was not just a political ambition, but a fervent desire to create a harmonious society, a society that would flourish under the protection of strong leadership and the embrace of shared values. His embrace of shared values. His legacy is not just confined to the borders of Egypt, but has permeated through the ages, influencing generations and civilizations that came after him. His contributions, his life, and his actions are a testament to his greatness, a symbol of his indomitable spirit and unwavering resolve. King Nama, the first pharaoh, in this extraordinary journey through the sands of time, we've delved into the life and reign of King Nama. A titan of history, his legacy continues to echo through the millennia, shaping our understanding of the past and influencing the world as we know it. From his early years and education, we saw the roots of a ruler take hold, his ambition to unite Egypt was not just a political feat, but a profound desire for harmony and shared values. His military campaigns showcased his strategic acumen, while his reign was a testament to his wisdom and determination. His contributions to Egyptian society helped shape a civilization that continues to captivate us today. As we conclude this chapter, let's remember the end of an era that marked the beginning of a new epoch under Nama's rule. His legacy is not confined to Egypt, but resonates across borders and through the ages, influencing generations and civilizations that followed. We hope you enjoyed this journey through the life of King Nama. If you found this engaging and informative, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more historical explorations. But this is not the end of our journey, far from it. In our upcoming video, we will venture into another fascinating chapter of history. So stay tuned. History enthusiasts, for our next adventure, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more fascinating historical explorations. Until the sands of time bring us together again, goodbye and keep exploring.